Africa is from an archaeological point of view a hotspot for the study of human history. Since ancient times, its inhabitants have provided cultural inspiration and knowledge that became the foundation for many aspects of modern life. Africa is an adaptable continent which in its history has always been subject to strong climatic and economic changes. Internal conflicts and large migratory movements were the result, and still are. Funded by the German Research Foundation, the Entangled Africa program was launched in 2019. What is so extraordinary about this program? The research is interdisciplinary. Natural sciences and humanities work hand in hand. And the focus is on the observation of connections and exchanges between ancient cultures. This means we study the people and the environment of the last six millennia from an African perspective. Ten scientific projects work with multidisciplinary methods on archaeological material from over 40 research sites south of the Sahara. The project Borrowed Words and Shared Objects combines linguistics and archaeology from the catchment area of the Niger. This part of West Africa is home to a various number of ethnic groups. Their history from 500 to 1500 is the focus of the project's research. Similarities in their technical knowledge and everyday objects, but especially in language and dialect, are indications of their common roots. For thousands of years, ceramic vessels have been one of the most important everyday objects. Their sherds are common archaeological finds. Here, near Kenyaroba, southwest of Bamako, a team of researchers from Germany and Mali are excavating a settlement from the 15th to 17th century. Au sud est du sondage, nous avons trouvé des une structure semi-circulaire parce que les restes se trouvent hors du sondage. Uh, qui nous rappelle une case traditionnelle dont la fondation est en pierre. Wir suchen hier nach so ein paar Elementen, wo wir die ganzen Fundstellen in Relation zueinander setzen können. Wir suchen nach verzierter Keramik und nach Randscherben von Keramik, wo wir die Formen vergleichen können. For this reason, sherds are examined for their production techniques, rim shapes, and clay composition, and then recorded in detail. Cleaning the fragments helps to study their decoration. Together with other data, decorative patterns can provide indications of regional and super-regional connections of the former users. Even until today, ceramics with very similar designs are still being produced along the Niger. This so-called roulette is achieved by rolling a twisted piece of string over the damp clay. The tool's name in the local language is... <laughs> Making pottery in the region is usually up to women. But this man from Bamako has also learned the craft. He and his family have learned to mix traditional techniques and colonial innovations. Natural materials such as parts of calabashes and large pebbles, locally called babele, are used together with a potter's wheel from Europe to produce vessels. The old names of the tools and the various steps of the working process have a long language tradition that has spread with the objects and techniques throughout the catchment area of the Niger. They are therefore an important part of the research. The visits to the ceramic workshops are filmed and the recordings are then discussed with a potter on site. This enables the team to understand and meticulously note the pronunciation and meaning of all the terms they have heard. 
The archaeological and linguistic data from the fieldwork, as well as word lists from historical literature, are fed into a digital database. The data is processed with a so-called dynamic social network analysis. An algorithm calculates the probability of connections between different sites and cultural groups and their change over time. By tracing various words back to their roots and connecting the historic terms with objects and working techniques discovered in the excavations, this new method sheds light on the historical networks of the Niger region.